One Norwalk mom is celebrating today after concussion guidelines she has been advocating for for young athletes were approved by the Common Council on Tuesday night. Norwalk is the first city in the state to approve concussion guidelines for athletes who play youth sports. The fact that we're doing something with this is huge. Former Norwalk junior lacrosse coach Katherine Snedeker has been working on the new guidelines for the past two years. It's good for kids to pass these guidelines. It's also good for the city because it lowers the liability for the city because we're holding the same standards. Why should we have standards for a ninth grader playing on the lacrosse team that we don't have for a sixth grader playing on our town fields? It doesn't make sense. During Tuesday's Common Council meeting, young athletes expressed their support for the new guidelines. I'm a goaltender, so I get shots flying at me in all different directions. So especially sense with me, because if I get hit in the head hard enough, obviously we have like helmets on and stuff, but that doesn't always protect you to the fullest. Because um, if you get hit in the head and just it shakes your brain a little, you could get a concussion. I feel like this is an important program because the uh, concussions really build up over, uh, over a period of time. And once you get one concussion, you're more uh, likely to get another concussion and have a worse concussion. And concussions can also uh, cause long-term issues. Before the vote, council members voiced their support of the program and thanked Parks and Recreation and Snedeker for pushing for policy change in the city. No. This is a very serious injury, and, uh, and our kids are the most valuable assets that we have. And I think that we should be uh, supporting of, uh, us, uh, uh, efforts to make sure that we have things like this in place for our kids. So. I'm going to be proud to say that we're the cutting edge. We're going to be the first municipality, if we adopt this tonight, in the state of Connecticut. And there's not even that many cities in the United States have adopted this. The new guidelines will apply to organized youth sports programs that use Norwalk Recreation Facilities and they will go into effect on April 15th of this year. A press conference celebrating the approval of the youth sport concussion guidelines will take place on Thursday, February 26th at Norwalk City Hall at 4.30 p.m. Reporting from the It's Relevant studio, I'm Quijerva Crawfee for It's Relevant News.